वेलकम बैक एस जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज अगो ड्रैगन स्टॉक मा पार्ट टू रिसीव अ मेजर अपडेट डेट इम्प्रूव द गेम्स परफॉर्मेंस इन सी पी यू बॉन्ड सीनेरियोज लाइक द पॉपुलेटेड सिटीज इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल न्यू कैम नाइन्स फ्री डी एल एस एस जी टू एफ एस आर थ्री मॉड इन दिस गेम इन आर टू इनेबल एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन दिस मॉड वर्क ओनली ऑन आर टी एक्स जी पी यूज इफ यूर पी सी हैज एन इंटेल और एन ए एम डी जी पी यू यू कैन ट्राई यूजिंग डी एल एस एस इनेबल मॉड आई ऑलरेडी शोन द सेटअप प्रोसेस फॉर इट ऑन माई रॉग एल Ally has a Radeon 780M GPU. I'll drop the link to it in the description of this video. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. In order to get the mod working, we need to use RE Framework. You can download it for free from this website. I'll give its link in the description. Download this version of the mod, version 1.5.7. Just expand the Assets section and click on DD2.zip. I've already downloaded it. We'll be using build 0.100 of Nukem 9 Smart Universal version. Just click on Next or Smart link. This site will open up. Just click on Files here. Need to have a free Next or Smart account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on Manual Download under Universal. Then click on Slow Download. First, we need to initialize RE Framework. Just open dd2.zip file that we downloaded earlier. Just need to copy this DLL file. D input it. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, then click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Paste the DLL file. We don't even need to delete shader or cache two file now before launching the game. This was a requirement for an older version of this mod. We also don't need to disable GeForce Experience overlay. Now just launch the game. Our frameworks menu popped up. Got initialized. Upon reaching the menu, just quit the game. The hotkey for accessing our frameworks menu is Insert key. Okay, we are in. Just click on Quit. Now open the FSR three mod zip file. There it is. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy these two DLL files, version and DLSS G2 FSR3 AMD is better. Paste them in the games install directory where you pasted the previous file. Right here. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled. Go to the desktop, right click in the blank area, then click on display settings. Now click on graphics. Click on Change Default Graphics Settings. From here, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Shuttling. If your monitor supports VR, make sure it's enabled. Now enable PCing from NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage CD Settings. Then click on Program Settings. From this drop-down bar, select Dragon's Dogma 2. So many games. Just click on Add here. Select Dragon Stock Mode 2. Scroll down to the end. Set VSync to On. Click on Apply. Click on Setup G-Sync. My monitor supports FreeSync. Make sure these settings are enabled. Enable G-Sync. G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for selected display. Apply. We are ready to run the game. Game Sensor Directory. I haven't deleted shaded dot cache two file. GeForce Experience Overlay. It's enabled. Launch the game. It should not crash. RE framework initialized. You can close its menu. Yeah, we are in. In game settings, full HD resolution. My monitor supports up to 240 Hz refresh rate. Upscaler DLSS enabled. Using its quality preset, I have access to frame generation setting on. This is RTX 2070 Super GPU. This means our mod is working. Ray tracing off, of course. Using low to medium settings, texture quality set to high. Game is very demanding on the GPU. Shadow cache setting enabled. First, I'll run the game without frame generation to give you an idea about the base performance. I'll be testing the game in one watt city. Very demanding on the CPU. 
I purchased the house here. See, it serves as a safe point. I'll head to the market. FPS here is close to 70, not hitting the GPU bottleneck. So the game's performance is limited by the CPU performance. Sixty to seventy FPS. Just sprint around. Entrance of one word is very demanding. As you can see, FPS dropped down to fifty-six. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Now we're in the open world. Game's performance here is limited by the GPU. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Okay, now I'll enable frame generation, reload the same area. Restarting the game. Reload the same sequence. There's my character. Leaving my house. My pawns, three of them. I'll just head to the marketplace. Okay, FPS here is close to 120. I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Animation is looking so smooth. Mod is definitely working. I can also observe a slight increase in latency. Nothing significant though, as the base FPS is close to 60. Input delay penalty is more possible when using a mouse instead of a gamepad. What's wrong with this guy? Running away from me. Okay, I'll just leave the place now. In one word, FPS stays above 100 with the mod installed. You can see a giant creature in the background. I'll fight against it. 100 FPS here. 90. It's a shame that this game still does not support FSR 3 frame generation. It only supports DLSS frame generation which is limited to RTX 40 series GPUs only. Not sure what Capcom was thinking. Hundred FPS. I'll try to grab this creature's leg. Maybe it's tail. Did not work. All hell is breaking loose. I'll be honest guys, this game's performance is still not good even after the latest patch. The creature is down. Burn. Impale it. The image quality is looking decent, games hard elements are not flickering. This mod works very nicely in this game on PCs with RTX GPUs. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.